All right. It's kind of hard to see in here because the light isn't great. I just touched up. You might see some color difference here. I just finished painting out the trim and getting that all up there. And this is a system. My client's really funny about it. I'll talk about it on the way home. She's like, I don't like the bars there, but there's a reason for it, which I'll explain. And uh, But the ceiling came out great. You can't tell at all that there was ever any patches done. And I know that this video isn't very good because you can't, <laughs> I can't really show you how good of a job it is just because the lighting is so bad. But it did, it came out perfect. Finally, finally done with this. And I'm done here for a while. I won't be coming back to this client for a while. I've got too many other jobs to do for what I deserve to be paid. <laughs> we'll get into that in a minute. Stick around. I've tried to shoot this video three times. I keep erasing it. <laughs> Just, I'm in a weird funk, man. I don't know what is going on. I am highly unmotivated. And it's weird because weeks ago, I was feel like I was kind of on the top of my game. And you'll notice I haven't had as high of an output on my videos. What you just saw, I'll, just, I'll get to that really quick. That skylight system, come on, man. What are we doing here? This is part of it, too, I think, just living in this city and navigating traffic and everything else. It kind of bums you out. But anyhow, and what you just saw with the skylight, it's, um, there's four dowel rods up there. And the idea is you could put a sheer cloth, like a piece of fabric up there and it'll diffuse the light nicely. Uh, one of the women that works in there has complained that the sun, when it hits her, it's a bummer. <clears throat> Makes sense. Although my client was weird about it because she understood I was going to do that. And then she's like, I don't see it. I like seeing those two dowel rods there. Like she wants me to take them down. Like take them down, throw them out. I don't care. <laughs> Why are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. <laughs> but she, it's frustrating. Like here's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing. I know better than you do. This is your house. I'm getting paid to do something. You want to do it your way. And I'm, I got to do that. Right. But at the same time, like imagine, I mean, I've been doing work for this particular client for years. Like the last two years, they've kept me pretty busy. I know how their minds work. I know how things work out. Plenty of things haven't gone right when I've listened to them. <laughs> you know, uh, hang on a second. I'll take you off the tripod and I'll finish this conversation. All right. I hope this is in frame here. Let me try to explain the statement, I know better than you. Uh, it's a weird thing to say to somebody, like in their own house or something. <sighs> Excuse me. So what I mean by that is like, well, with this particular client, who I love, I love her. Um, there's been plenty of times where she's, initially didn't like something or want something and I had explained it to her and then later she's told me she loved it or there's been times where I said hey I need to do this I need to come over and take care of this and she's like no no it's fine and then because I listened to her and didn't go something went wrong like we had an instance uh, when it was raining out here where I was like I got to come over and I got to cut this drain pipe and solve that no it's been drained it's fine then we got rain and his porch backed up with water and flooded the second level and it dripped down into the level below it all because she told me not to come over. I know better than she does about this stuff. So <clears throat> like when this, with this system, those two rods, you could take them down and put them aside or something, but they're always there. They're, they're, you have them now because <clears throat> you're only thinking in the now. I don't like that. It's something different, new. I don't, it bothers me. Just forget about it. It doesn't keep the light from coming down. And later, I guarantee you, it's th you're going to realize it was the right thing to do. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for something like 37 years now. 
I don't really have bad ideas, right? If I'm doing it this way, if I'm suggesting this, it's for a reason. It's because I know what I'm talking about. I, just, I hate being challenged on stuff when I know, especially if I've proven to you before multiple times that I'm right. I'm not always right. I'm not right about everything. But when it comes to what I do for a living and stuff I'm building, the way I design things, I'm right for a reason because I've proved to myself time and again that it was the right thing to do. <clears throat> so stop freaking arguing with me, especially if with you in particular, I've been right over and again, time and again. And it's funny, like when I first came back over to the, these people, like I did work for them for like a couple years about, and then I didn't work for them for about five years. <clears throat> and then two years ago, I got another call to come back, and it just turned into this, all this stuff, all this work. Old houses are like that. And there's still a ton of stuff to do over there, but I got to take a break for a while. There's just too much other stuff going on over there that I, I can't. No other client I have has all the stuff I got to deal with there from an unruly pet that I never know how that dog's going to act to people in and out all the time and the, the kids and everything else who I love. They're great. But funny story, when I first went back over there, I had to put these little uh, stops on the baseboards for the doors so the doorknobs wouldn't poke into the walls because I had to patch all these holes in the walls because the boys that they have, they just throw the doors open. They're... They basically destroy the pad. They destroy the house. I don't know if it's a discipline thing or... I mean, there's hanging on stuff, throwing stuff around. Everything just gets demolished. Just boys, I suppose. But the, the young one came to me one day, like the next day, and he had pulled this thing off the wall. I don't like this there. And I'm looking at him like, it doesn't matter what you like. It's there for a purpose. But I had to live with that. And that's exactly what the mom did. So I know where he got that behavior. I don't like this there. Well, it's there for a reason. It's going to serve a purpose. <laughs> Just allow it to, to... What you think about that, even though you're paying me to do, it doesn't matter because I'm telling you it's the right thing to do. And if I don't do it right now, I know later down the road you're going to ask me to solve that problem. I just solved it for you. <laughs> just, just go with it. I'm a little frustrated. <laughs> and then back on what I was touching on a moment ago in the van... Yeah, I've just been having a real hard time with this lately. I don't know what it is. I guess I should just... My attitude has been I don't care. I don't give a crap. And when I have that attitude, it's great because I'll just make a video and put it out there. Most of the time, it's pretty well received. Uh, but suddenly, I feel like I want to care about it. <laughs> I want to give a crap, I guess. So I don't know. Look, I'll, I'll try to keep this one short for you. Um... I'm work. I'm gonna go over to the valley here uh, to my friend Kurgi's house. She's got a bunch of stuff she wants me to do. I got to build a custom bookshelf thing and do some other stuff around her pad. And I think I'm gonna get back to what I was doing before if I can make enough coin at it. Which was, you know, I just hustle and I'm an artist and I make things and I get into. I'll probably get. I got to get back into the bicycle thing. I got to knock out some of these builds, <clears throat> put some numbers on them, maybe move some parts. Uh, my leather craft idea, I got to do that. Sorry, I'm playing with this. A little bit of like a dead skin on my lip. I'm trying to... Hmm, I think I got it. There it is. It went. So I'm burping in front of you. Sometimes I fart. You don't know about it. And I'm always picking at the skin on my lip. Anyhow. <laughs> that's what you're here for. I, my favorite comment is, I, I come here, I like your videos because you're real. Yeah, it doesn't get more real than this. <laughs> to get more real than this. So yeah, I'll get back to some bicycle stuff. This leather craft thing is still a new thing. I'll be doing some stuff on that. I have a couple night videos I'm going to be doing. I know a lot of you aren't here for that, but they actually do pretty well on my channel for me. Uh, I got a, a bunch of watches I never even reviewed that I got to get to. I have a really, what I think is going to be a cool video on bands. Just comparing all the different types of bands, and I'll be using watches I own to talk about it. And I'm going to use some movie stuff. So I started paying attention more to watches on characters in movies, and I want to use that. Like, take stills from that, maybe a couple clips. It'll be low 
low tech. It'll be me holding my phone, shooting like a couple seconds of a clip or something, and then peppering that in and then talking about what it is that you're looking at. <clears throat> Should be fun. The one thing I've learned here is that because the channel's so diverse, a lot, and of course the van, right? There's going to be more van stuff. But, like, there's a bunch of people here because of the Astro Van. There's people here just because Sarah, Wonder Hussy, told you guys I was a good storyteller, you know. Uh, there are people here because of the knife stuff. There's people here because of the woodworking. There's people here because of the bicycle stuff. And every one of those little subgroups keeps begging me to do more videos on that particular topic. Um... So my point I was going to get to is because it's so diverse, what's interesting and what I was hoping would happen and seems like it is happening is that maybe you're here because of the Astro Van stuff, but you'll see a video on the woodworking or a bicycle thing or me doing something else. And you're like, wow, you know, I'm here for this, but I'm really, I'm really enjoying that. And you've turned me on to this. And the reason that that's important to me, <clears throat> if I was going to make this video important this is what this is the point I want to drive home is having a diversity of interests makes you a more intelligent human being uh, it, it helps you to be a more rounded person uh, you start hearing uh, ideas uh, on different subjects it could spark an interest in you to do your own research on a particular subject it could get you into doing your own hobby stuff uh, your brain is a muscle man Use it, develop it. If you don't develop your muscles, they atrophy. So if I can turn you on to something that's uh, something you haven't heard of before, hey, that's cool. I also like the cross pollination with other YouTube channels, but also what's happening in my comments with people down there. It seems like some of you guys are getting together and doing cool stuff too. So this is good. I like that community aspect of it. Ha and having said that, you guys realize I also live alone, right? Like, I like my downtime, and I've been finding myself there more lately. I don't know what is going on. Is Mer Mercury in retrograde or something? Because it's been a weird... Some, my, my mind, I'm not... I don't know. I'm going through some funk at the moment. i got to pull myself out of it. I think it's just I've got too many things hanging over my head that I need to do. And I still need to fill out those forms for the VA. I'm going to try to do that this weekend. But at any rate, <laughs> thanks again for being here. Tell your friends. <laughs> uh, be good to one another. Work the muscle. I'll catch you all in the next one. All of these roses were selected for their fragrance. I needed this.
All right, now you can go. Hope you enjoyed that.